Welcome to FedScoop TV, I'm Dan Verton. With me today is Brian Kopstick. Brian is the Director for Mobile Innovations, Public Sector Enterprise Services at HP. Brian, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. So we're at the Mobile uh, Gov Summit and we'd like to get your thoughts on how industry can help the government become more mobile. I think one of the quick ways that industry can help government uh, mobilize and convert to other digital forms is recognizing that applications are changing. You know, right now we're seeing more fit to form applications, ones that really are trying to tear down barriers and make it easy for people to access, you know, making it a government of me and interacting them with them in a more personalized, interactive manner than what they have in the past. Um, you know, a lot of this is really around digital transformation. Uh, you know, no big secret that the government's running a lot of legacy applications. You know, a lot of these systems, processes, things like that are over 20 years old. The government really needs to look to take almost a digital transformation of itself and revolutionize these processes in order to, you know, take advantage of not only these new devices, but understanding that, you know, these new interaction models, things like that are really pushing a lot of these current web architectures to the brink. So what areas in government are you seeing uh, quicker adoption from a mobile perspective? I would say most agencies are you know, seeing a level of commercial apps proliferate their enterprise, you know, anywhere from five to 20. Um, we're seeing agencies really focus on sort of B2C type applications. It's the ones we can really see almost an immediate ROI on and clearly being responsive to the government. But I would say that those organizations, they're really starting to transform themselves from what I would say their traditional silos and really focus on building outside in and focusing on the user experience associated with those agencies mm -hmm. as a way to streamline complexity and you know, break down some of the barriers of inefficiency. Those are the ones that I see making the most headway. So Brian, are there any particular trends that you see in government today that you would characterize as disruptive from a mobile perspective? I would say the biggest disruptor right now is people um, and how we're aligning our technology, our processes to better serve those people. You know, real people in the real world. And what I would say, prevent those random acts of mobility um, that seem to be promulgating through a lot of uh, organizations right now, you know, having 15 to 20 apps, but how many are in production? How many users are actually using them? Organizations need to realize that making a difference to real people in the real world is where we want to be with this technology. Interesting, random acts of mobility. It's an interesting phrase. Um, so take out your crystal ball and tell me what you think the future mobile workforce might look like. So, uh, you know, I look at it, everybody talks about it. We even talked about it on the panel, what's the killer app for mobile or something like that. The killer app for mobile is one that wages war on, on bureaucracy, okay? That tears down some of the complexity and inefficiency that has long plagued whether people's perceptions and the reality of dealing with the government. You know, just as good as enemy is the enemy of great, you know, for all the good to great lovers out there. You know, streamlining complexity it increases agility, lowers cost, and increases efficiency. And that's really where we need to focus. You know, the new style of IT is really powering the next generation digital transformation because as these architectures fundamentally change for these different interaction models and interaction channels, it's really at the forefront of how we're going to enable this next generation mobile workforce. Right. Well, Brian, thanks so much for being here today. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You've been watching FedScoop TV. I'm Dan Verton. Thanks very much.